Today I received my Garrett AT Pro. So my YouTube channel is going to extend to metal detecting. So uh, let's open it up. It's a live open. It's got headphones. DVD owner's manual and then the registration and metal detector and the coal. So we're excited. Happy to get it and uh, let the adventures of metal detecting begin. I'm out here today with my brand new Garrett AT Pro. I just got two days ago. It's been raining, so I haven't been able to get out here. And of course, I got my pinpointer. I just found this right here. That's what it looks like. It's about 10 inches. 10 inches down. And I found it. So, all right. We scan my hole. I don't see nothing else in there. Maybe iron, like a nail or something. Okay. Well, I don't know how old it is, but uh, like I said it was 10 inches down. So, uh, this is kind of an area where the Civil War was fought, so here on this ridge. I'll get with you if I find anything else. We'll cover back our hole. That's one thing you're supposed to do. You should always Leave it in better shape than you found it. That's what I always heard and was told. So, looks pretty good. Even though we're out in the woods, you should uh, always rebury your hose. I'm using the old army shovel. back when we find something. Uh, I found something else. It's uh, showing on the ID target screen that it's like a 92, 98. It's pretty consistent. So uh, it's about 8 to 10 inches down. So we're going to dig it and I'll get back with you when we find out what it is. Alright. See if you can hear that. Bouncing from a 79, 77, 63, 89, 53. Alright, you can hear it. You can hear there's iron. It's on uh, 
discrimination is on 35. It's all over the place, so it's not really a good signal. It's not solid. It is high. Sounds like there's several targets. You can tell there's iron in there with a low grunt. But that high. Sounds like it might be silver. Then again, it's probably aluminum. So. I'll dig it out and I'll show you. I right, found what it was. I really don't know what it is. Must be a little bit of brass or copper in it. You can hear it. it makes that beep. So it's iron with a uh, probably a brass bolt in it. That's where you get that high pitch with the low. That high pitch is registering right on the 74, 76. So it's our second piece we found out here. Don't really know what it is, but we'll keep digging. Oh, I got another signal right out from that first hole. And it was another another one, just like this one. It was bouncing, so I could tell it had iron in it, but it looks like it's probably got brass or it's probably a brass. bolt on it. They're old, but they're not probably that old. The reason I dug it because it was eight to almost ten inches down, so yeah, usually when it's that deep you want to dig it, so that actually might be aluminum there on that edge so anyway that's what I've got and you can tell it's starting to get dark around here so I'm fixing the head in uh, it wasn't much but uh, it was my first dig with my new uh, Garrett AT Pro I have some more time I'll get back out here Anyway, uh, I'm proud to get it, glad to have it, and there'll be more videos to come, so uh, bear with me, and hopefully we can find some good treasures. Uh, I'd like to find some Civil War bullets, so I'd like to find this stuff's kind of thick, so uh, good luck, right? But anyway, alright, thanks for watching guys, and uh, Please keep uh, tuned in and for more videos. Thanks. All right, I cleaned up my three finds I found. It looks like they're old razors. That's what it looks like to me. The, the heads of uh, old razors. Uh, this is like the little thing that fell off of this one. It's this part here. This is definitely a uh, shotgun, the primer cap. You can see where the uh, divot is. And inside you can see the, where the cap was. So anyway, it's my first find with my Garrett AT Pro. Uh, looks like two old razor heads and one shotgun shell.
the primer cap. So anyway, it was something. It was only about a 20 minute hunt, if that. So all right, I'll post some more videos later. Thanks for watching.